ilikuwa ni time ya news nakumbuka ujamaa alikuwa anasema news hapo anasema nifika lunch time ilikuwa anasikia anasikia njaa mimi kwa kwa akili yangu mimi hao watu wanasikia njaa alafu nilikuwa na uji tukaweka uji ndani ya radio radio ka dedi mimi sanga mbona imenyamaza wani watu wameshiba wamelala It's the only time I ever wanted to become a policeman was not exactly a policeman. I visited an uncle of mine who used to be in the Air Force. Ah. So first time ever. This is my first time in Nairobi ever. I was a little kid. And then we went to his base. Mm. And I just remember he took me to that fighter jet. Ah, bro, that's the coolest thing I'd ever seen. From there, I was like, Mimi, I want to be in the Air Force. <laughs> Don't drive you to the jet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what Alta ziko zinapita kisi ndege ilikuwa inapita wapi Mnaona tuma kwa kitabu Mnaona soma kwa kitabu aeroplane You worked your whole life Yeah as in kuna ile kuna ile mwili ya shida ile atana hii mwasi hii mwili ya mwasi I grew up in a really tough neighborhood Yeah like some of us I think by Kuangalia mwili wangu hii ya shida Ombachi mwili Mas, mle blue band. Some of us by age 6 ulikuwa ushaanza kutoa abs cause ya. So like for me if I'm making fries for myself, the fries in the air fryer they, they look the same but they they taste, taste different. different. They taste I like shit. I said this. Fries you know? make you unhealthy. Kasi kizo vitu za kwa tazi kuiva. Come down. Hold up. This mm-hmm. guy made me buy an air fryer. I did not make you buy an air fryer. No, but an air fryer is the best uh, I think investment. I've never cooked yeah. anything nice in that thing, bro. I've tried steak. Iko inje my oven cooked better steak. No, for you I've to cook fries. for you to cook <laughs> something nice in the air fryer, you <laughs> you should be able to cook something <laughs> nice without an air fryer. You know? An, an air fryer doesn't come with cooking skills. <laughs> Over 26 This is the Burger Boys. The Brunch Club. Over 26 The mics are genius. Now when you watch it you'll understand. What up my name is Chaxi V mastermind you are in guy V Lord Chaxi the group from Arise around the amazing masses around the whole gang is around episode 115 we are much up. I'm good I'm good uh-huh. glad to be here thank Very you for good. having me thank you well, for thank coming you for too man time, for real and and if I could buy kitu ama kosawa by the akosawa Hey, it up the expense. Like my hair can be bad to see. If it's on the second time I'm wearing it. A blaze yake lazima ni tumie ni maximize. Ita kwa kauka ni kuvae. We're talking about oversharing and just before we started rolling. <laughs> and guys who just volunteer information. Be <laughs> like unprovoked. But too much information. Yeah. No, but cuz me really I really buy new clothes or mm. I'm, i'm not that kind of guy of fashion look so when i buy something you guys have to see it i, I buy it I, like the shoes i have like like this pair of sneakers like i've had them for almost one and a half years uh-huh. so i'll wear it every day <laughs> <laughs> yeah these are, these are only, i have these and the and some other white sneakers that i don't like so i have two pairs of shoes you have two pairs of shoes, pairs of shoes. no, no as in for real yeah only two pairs of shoes so i a golfing these are my golfing mm-hmm. shoes uh nikienda parents pioneer parents PTA. PTA. yeah it's these nikiitwa meeting <laughs> nadungo official chini <laughs> <Your face is white. laughs> bro like you kids are daily you wash them every day they are comfortable <laughs> <laughs> so long short as you shoe huh? 
But yeah, you wash shoes every day. <laughs> but you wash shoes every day. day. But I also don't know why I wash shoes I'm assuming as a chafuki. Because you also don't know. Which neighbors do you guys live? You know, we have to be a chafuki. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Lele. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but you need to have more, more shoes than kids. Two and me. You need two shoes for me. Two shoes, two kids. <laughs> 75 pounds. <laughs> Why well, yeah. have a lot of actually no? So seven five. Yeah. They are sixty nine. The last time I checked, six ninety nine pants, pots and pots. Janik, but we must keep at your six nine to back up. Because there was some time I I wanted to go buy <laughs> new ones, mm-hmm. and then now the wife was like, "Well, yo, you have too much of this." Because I have yeah. a, a, a couple of sets that others just talk a box, but yeah. so I thought I was like, I don't know, maybe it's too much. Because you influenced me to buy some. The, the cast times. The, they are the yeah, they are the best. So nice. for me, I'd rather like Invest I find something. joy. It's not even investing. It's yeah. it's, it's like an addiction. Mm. Like when I buy the kitchen equipment, mm. pots and pans, yeah, I feel more rewarding than than clothes. Because for a me, crazy addiction. Yeah. I <laughs> buy clothes for some reason. Zimbona ngozangu zekaraka. After like three washes, they look. I don't know. I, I think it's something a washing machine <laughs> does. machine. <laughs> Like you know, two pairs of shoes or two. Two, pa- two many, pairs is more many, than enough. How many boxers do you own? Boxers. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I have two favorite ones. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot, but there are two that I like, oh. you know? So Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, that I didn't even buy. It was mm. my birthday gift from my... So I usually wait till my birthday. Wait, birthday gift from your wife? Yeah. Man, so boxers women, well. we are never beating this allegation. <laughs> the, last yeah. time, the last time I went and bought boxers, yeah. I don't remember. Because that's what, that's, that's what she gives you. <laughs> and socks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Boxes and socks. Aye, yo. <laughs> Sorry, I just know I don't need to buy uh-huh. at the end of the year because my birthday is uh, yeah. it, in December 14th. Now you subscription and end up quoting you. So before, before 14th of December, we have on Billy too. Two, 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 two. Yeah, but when I'm in the house, you just chill commando. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Damn. Okay. I say on Billy. Come on, sasa you may have a I'm not a I don't remember. So, Nikki talk on Yumba last week. Because you're going golfing tomorrow. Because it's one of your favorites. You're going to turn. No, I have two. I'm going to get home today. I'll have to go to the two, fe- two nice ones. Uh-huh. Okay. I have a lot, but they are, you know, they are, it's always going to be when you wear it, you yeah. feel like, ah. These That's I feel I feel one, lucky yeah. in them. Yeah. Yeah. So they are like two good ones, yeah. really nice ones. And I think it's because my girlfriend bought them for me. Mm-hmm. So She's a girlfriend or your wife? Wife. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope I don't know you this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How do how do you pronounce her name? Svetlana. <laughs> Svetlana. 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 Yeah. And then the second name? Polikapova. Poly. Holy cup over. But it's a raka. Talking about things you own. Ah, let's settle this debate. Do you own an air fryer? Of course. Chelsea, don't you watch his content? Do you use it? Duh. No, I, I use um, I use it, and I don't. But most of the dishes, I use it uh, a lot. Like when I'm preparing food for the for the, the for kids. the kids. Like for me, if I'm making fries for myself. Mm-hmm. The fries in the air fryer, they, they look the same, but they, they taste, taste different. different. They taste I like shit. Fries you know? make you unhealthy. Come on. Hold up. This guy made me buy an air fryer. I did not make you buy an air fryer. No, but an air fryer is the best, uh, I think, investment. I've never cooked anything nice in that thing, bro. I've tried steak. You could enjoy my oven cooked better steak. No, for you, to cook, for you to cook something nice in the air fryer, you, <laughs> you should be able to cook something <laughs> nice without an air fryer. You know? An, an air fryer doesn't come with cooking skills. I'm cooking in your kitchen, please. Please. Done. An air fryer doesn't come with cooking skills. Done. If you can't cook, you can't cook. An air fryer won't save you. Me me thought me me put a hack. Listen, Louis Hamilton made me buy a fast car, but I can't go fast. 
And you think now I can play rugby? <laughs> <laughs> At you have a gym in the house, but you don't work out, you expect to lose weight. <laughs> Never. Mangi, that's good. Mangi, just collect. Just collect. Oh, no. No. Oh, I'm about to tell you something before the recording. You know, it's very hot. <laughs> Mangi still has his jacket on because he's burning fat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Listen. And then I, I chose this jacket today. So I was like, I'm going to chill with a retired Olympian. I can't even learn my facts up. I said, okay. Kinu is a final. One point. Lakini alianza tuku cross. Like I was wondering like all the lights so hot here yeah, I'm like ah, maybe that guy is burning some fat I don't know. Fun to lose it. Like this video brother you see. Like what mtu unaenda gym you pay your money mtu ende ku chapa ngumi na taya niliona hiyo yeah yeah i'm like for me the no. even the guys who are being tortured you pay for in, in, instructor lakini mna work out nje kupanda mlima na kwa mvua yeah kwa mvua i saw our mm. that's the one i saw mimi siwezi kufanya hiyo pose alafu na ongelesha vibaya tuacha kulia si wewe ndio ulikuwa unakula ndio <laughs> 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 policeman I visited an uncle of mine who used to be in the Air Force. Ah. So first time ever. This is my first time in Nairobi ever. I was a little kid and then we went to his base Kumbuka to Kwapi. I just remember he took me to that fighter jet. Ah bro, that's the coolest thing I'd ever seen. That's From different. there I was uh-huh. like Mimi I want to be in the Air Force. <laughs> Don't they drive you to jet. Uliona uliona ndege ukiwa mtoto. Ah mimi uliona zionea huko. Alta ziko zinapita. Kisi ndege ilikuwa inapita wapi? Unaona tu ma. Unasoma kwa kitabu. Ungo na soma kwa kitabu. Aeroplane. Ama ni vifagio tu. Mad. Mad. Ba uh, policeman though. Even me if I was controlling flights and as avoid your flight. <laughs> you're approaching Kisi to Kalem. No, policeman always looked cool, you know. Where? On, on the movies, not on, on, on the movies. Yeah. You, uh, there was this uh, show. Kama mko mnaona ndege ulikuwa na movie wapi? Eh? Movie. A TV now atukuwa mbaya vile. Mlikuwa mnaona wewe ulikuwa unataka kwa LPD sijui nini detective. Ama ulikuwa unataka kula hongo. Mbamba sana. Sijui kama nakumbuka hiyo rose. Ilikuwa anajiita Rex. Hii umbo ya police. Rex KBC. Yeah. 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 So, but even before that show like growing up mbe kuunda toy guns za matope. Yeah. Asi tulikuwa tunatengeneza ball ya kara ya pepper bag. Yeah, hiyo ball ya juala. Ya juala. After tulikuwa na to make it you know, ikae kama the real one. Mm-hmm. Go, you used to, to blow condoms all over you. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Now you make the Where ball. do you get the Where condoms? Exactly? Eh? Sure they are in sold. the hospital, the centers everywhere. When, when you are toys, you used to go steal those Why not balloons? Eh? Kids used to play with balloons. No, because you, you had to buy those. Balloons are not free, you had to you buy had them. You had to buy those. <laughs> But in health centers, the uh, CDs were free they were free. That's true. From the government. Because growing up, you remember, it was... E time when uh, yeah. uh, uh, a HIV pandemic in Kenya yes. was so adverse they used to bring these people in school to yeah. show us these some gruesome movies and Nani, stuff yeah. to, this <laughs> guy <laughs> tuju, tuju, yeah. 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 so condoms are almost everywhere so you just go yeah. blow make the ball around it 
na ilikuwa ina bounce proper kuliko hii nyingine ilikuwa ngumu it's a tube ama it's on the top no it's it's a t- no that's like a tube so you blow it oh. and then now you build, build a ball, ball around it but ilikuwa ngi na pasuka at times of course lakini of course lakini i mean yenyewe ambachi ndio unaona hizi mashavu zako zime block condom the joy is joy the joy is joy the joy is joy ni nasikia hizo childhood zenyu nasikia kwa tumia did you guys know there was other use for that condom ama mlikuwa mnafikiria tu ni ball No at that time we did not know. At that time we were we were toys. Hakuna tu mmoja mnalikuwa ni mjanja. Mnalikuwa ni watu kuonyesha leo ni nini toa shot. No, as in, we, we 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 didn't know cuz I remember there was a time um, we, uh, I, we we had blown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I took some home with me. Oh wow. Kwa 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 wazazi wa kisi. Kwa dad. Nilisomewa. Ukaambiwa niambiwa ni isi ya kutengeneza bomb. Au wambii ni nini lakini unjue ile kusikia kutengeneza bomb. Kama usijaribu tena. Unjue umerudi home kwanza umeunda ilikuwa kama bunch. Mdomo kwanza vile nimejea mafuta ina shine. Yende lipa mliko natumia lipa mdomo ina shine una shine but at that time we were not getting like what they are saying so mpaka at least unaingia shule na mwanza hizi classes za reproductive health na mwanza kurealize oh damn that's what you are doing lakini vile walichora hizo vitu hapo na vile tuliziona live as equal the same vitu gani hizo reproductive health at least the boys ilikuwa same unajua vijana walichorea flow plan ya ndani hiyo ni kama ni kama nini hiyo ni kama nini plan ya nyumba kina mwasi the plan was as what was this like una cheza na kikuyu architect there's an architect and there's an architect yeah so your first time in Nairobi so i found this very interesting so your first time in Nairobi ulipanda tu basi ukakamu No plan ujakuja kuona mse ukashuka then ukajambia okay so yeah, then happy yeah, my, fa- my, my first time in Nairobi was crazy um it was not my first first time in Nairobi because mm-hmm. at that particular point in time uh, we were to go to some place Kiambu in some tea farm mm-hmm. okay. so once in a while our dad used to bring us to Nairobi and this but that was my first time in Nairobi by my own ah got you because i was in school i was in form 2 that time i was in Kisi high school so i was like naona hii shule ni kama imenishinda kidogo nikienda home ni nikienda home ni waambie hii shule pia i don't feel like uh, like it uh, naona tena huko hivyo hata nielewa vizuri and then i was being i don't know what to call it bullying or it's just a, a fucked up system because yeah. the 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 prefects you time bado walikuwa allowed kukuchapa kukuchapa people hmm. So and then I, I remember kwanza kuna kichapo ilikuwa nafaa kupokea cuz there are some things I had not done so I knew like in the evening when this comes this is what's supposed to be happening and I was like I'm tired of this so how much money do I have I had around 550 <laughs> and, and that time I made the calculation of like basi kutoka hapa kisi mpaka um, Nairobi that time it was around 350 what damn yeah so kuna ulizaliwa na nchi i know this is like 1925 <laughs> is this hapa tulikuwa na independence <laughs> clearly not <laughs> no, but time, i don't know i don't know what was going on in my mm. my mind i was just not thinking straight i was like let me go try out life on my own mm-hmm. <laughs> so na 550 na 550 okay to so na dream ya kutoka hapo yeah ndio adola in the dream ya so i didn't pack any clothes because i couldn't go back to the dormitory those mm. prefects were also waiting for me because yeah. i think i had skipped some classes i'm a chose chose here and there i kiss yes clothes was weird because from one and from two you were supposed to go pick coffee nilikuwa nimehepa hiyo job big coffee big coffee yeah and, I, and then uh, we used to have this cool cows so from ones and from twos we used, we used to milk make like house. a line not milking milking it and too much we, <laughs> we used to make a line across the field when these ngombe zinakula nyasi and then you advance you advance step by step picking plucking weed from the grass so those are the things i used to help na mnasoma sangapi yeah that was during the weekend 
Okay. So weekends are in poor rest. So when you're not labor. when you're not studying your work. Yeah, we're not studying your work. That's like the first school they look forward to Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so I was Damn. like, ni mehepa chores. Ni mehepa yo mambo ya feel. Alafu there was also this thing it was compulsory uh, drama. I was supposed to participate in me hair part as in person <laughs> drama yeah everyone yeah for one from two this interhouse bullshit so i'm only going to dance naangalia naangalia charge sheet yangu na fuatu na preface karibu fight hizo mashida hizo zinakaa mingi Ah, nikangoja nikakula deal make sure kwanza nimekula. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Nikakula. Sasa so zile watu wanaingia prep, mimi nikaenda kwa cho huko juu, shu, nikaruka fence. Mm. Nikatembea nikatembea di bus station, nikachukua basi. Tukakuja usiku tukafika Nairobi around matri ya po hivi. Okay. Yeah. Hey, ile baridi ilikuwa hapo hivi. Huko <laughs> <laughs> na sweater. Yeah. Siko na sweater, siko na uniform mama. Nilikuwa nilikuwa na uniform. Sasa tuna kwangu maybe was what. From draw kwangu na masuala. Nilikuwa na uniform lakini sasa nilikuwa na t-shirt ndani. Lakini sasa vile sasa ni ukisharuka fence of course your t-shirt mtu unatoanga. So t-shirt iliuachia hapo kwa fence. Nikaenda na tina na civilian nilikuwa nayo ndani. So nimeshuka Nairobi ilikuwa day one Basi zilishuka hapo siku kama mmo supermarket bado iko ilikuwa ni jack, jack and jill jack and jill yeah it's me, it's me shuka hapo hivyo ah uzuri nilikuwa nimelalala kwa basi so nikangoja tu juu ikachangamka ikamka <laughs> lakini eh, <laughs> lakini yo, ni, ni, breakfast ikafika enjoy ilikuwa inanitandika <laughs> nika uko na how much at this time asubuhi by the time yo, ta, uh, nakumbuka pesa nilifika nayo ilikuwa around nilikuwa na 100 bob noti <laughs> and uh, na shillings you come it was 60 ama 40 ama ngapi so kawa mtwani max eh kawa mtwani hiyo <laughs> time hata siko nafikiria head mimi nilikuwa nimesema ah nimefika hapa hivi acha nione hii life ndio ichapa nilikuwa kwa akili yangu nishaweka acha nisukume month 1 kwanza <laughs> 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 my question is umefika tao plan ni nini where exactly where you What going is the plan? Siko na plan, hiyo ndo plan. Sasa unaonaje one month ahead na 150 bob <laughs> bila plan. Na uko Nairobi CBD. Si bwana nafikiria because first of all you got me nimekana ma payroll by life so at uh, apart from patua pocket money shule mm. siko na jua the concept ya responsibility mm. as in life ni expensive life mm. unafaa uji support. Mm. So you day one, the one nilifanya makosa nikaa nikakula breakfast. <laughs> Kula lunch. Na sapa head. Uka, uka say one and your person will go fool yote. All my money dad dad the one. Pesa ilikuwa imeisha. Sa the one me now and ashanga pesa lakini nimeshiba. Sa sa shida ilikuwa please please ya kulala. So it time yote unafikiria utashitwa wapi utaoga wapi? The one is good shit. Yo 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 now and go shit. Nakumbuka is good shit. Lakini sasa yeah cuz ni tulikuwa na kula hii soko inajihitaji. Kuna soko kubwa iko hapo marikiti ama wapi? I think ni marikiti. Kuna places huko chini. Ni hapo ndo kuna vibanda nilikuwa na nilikula nakumbuka breakfast nilikula nilikula eh mudhuru breakfast nilikula cuz high school pia kulikuwa na hiyo nje high school ulikuwa unapatiwa mkate kakote hapo nilipata chance nilibuy chai na mkate full damn king hata nikupata hiyo thank god you know an accountant nikakula breakfast lunch i think nilikula chapo karibu 3 ama 4 na beans Sapa <laughs> nayo nikasema anyway pesa iko karibu kuisha might as well eh yeah, might as well <laughs> nikakula bado nilikula chapo ilikuwa nyama lakini ilikuwa nyama ilikuwa cabbage imeko supu ya nyama na minji na waru nikaji slap proper lakini sasa usiku ikafika time ya kulala nika... Ashanga sa hapo hapa sasa kuna hapa kuna kuna ndaje Nikarudi default hata nirudi penye basi niliwacha nifikirie hapo hivi kwanza For now you know place familiar hapo Nikatafuta Jack and Jill tena Nikarudi tena hadi Jack and Jill 
Oye, lakini ile baridi ilikuwa hapo. <laughs> saa uzuri hizi uh, basi saa zilikuwa zinakuja zikidrop watu zingine zikipick. Mm. So kulu, iyo, engine bado ilikuwa ina, ina run. Mm. So nikaenda nika nika chill hapo karibu na exhaust. Alafu funny thing siku wa peke yangu ulikuwa yeah. na ma, ma street Chikis, kids yeah. wameka ma Wengine walikuwa soft life walikuwa na makaton. Wameka hapo. Emils yakelea tu kwa ukuta hapo hivyo hiyo hiyo suit ya hiyo mosh inakupiga hapo lakini hapo una mu compromise hiyo harufu wa majoto. By midnight wasa na meno tu. Majoto. Na funny thing nililala actually poor. Standing. Not standing. Oh. Eh utalala ile gome simama. Hapo atakuna chance ya anything kwa mwili kusimama. Nilala nikaamka day tu ndo sana niliamka broke proper. Na njaa. Wa. Nzaa tena. Eh day tu kwa njaa alafu sasa sina alafu sasa uko tao na kuna chance ya kuwa na njaa. Alafu zina do. Hapo ndo sana nikaanza sema eh. Wa sinirudi home. Lakini sasa nashangaa sasa ndarudi ya jana sina fare kurudi. Kitu tena niambie tena for there was your day one bado I was like kulikuwa na hiyo freedom I was like I was still enjoying lakini ni kama something was wrong in my head sikuwa nimerudi bado in my senses mm. so nili nikaamua sasa kutembea sasa town nikasema sina do mm. acha nitembee tu I see how <laughs> Nairobi is na ujui mnaenda wapi nakumbuka nilitembea nikafika <laughs> railways <laughs> Nikaanza ku, eh, kupande hivi ni kama na, naingia sides za um, kwenda hapa uptown eh yeah, lakini nilikuwa nafika place na angalia nyuma naona ni kama eh hey, nimesahau penye nimetoka na rudi <laughs> so as in, nilikuwa na you ready you ready as in what tembe ilikuwa na make sure ni close yeah. Yeah. so nikarudi nikaenda hapo marikiti nikapata <laughs> machoko cha unaita <clears throat> ma street kids walikuwa hapo hivyo mm-hmm wana chapa tu story hapo ah nika nika chill na hapo hivyo tukaanza kuchapa story mm. walikuwa na kuna mwingine akakuja na there was some stuff they were they were rolling i think ilikuwa ba- your time siko nimeona bangi life yangu <laughs> uko kisi ni unaona bangi yeah siko nimeona bangi eh nilikuwa mtoto wa mama so wa, wa, wana roll bangi and then there was some white powder walikuwa wanaweka hapo ndani ooh nice so nataka kunipatia lakini bado nilikuwa muoga hiyo <laughs> Yo ni, kupiga yo yeah, nikakata, ni, <laughs> yo nilikata, yo nilikata. Yaani nika chill now so wakaanza kutembea mimi na wafuata tu kama unga. <laughs> Kwa sababu at least wanajua in Nairobi. <laughs> hey, tukachapa laps ika, ikafika hapo around noon. Tukaje pia nilikuwa nimechafuka hapo hivyo hiyo moshi yeah. sura inakaa chafu chafu. <laughs> Noon tukajipata some I think in Nairobi River. Zitu lifika aje hiyo Nairobi River. Nikapata hapo na tena tuko peke yetu. Tulikuwa tu karibu 15 nao ma street kids. Nikaona wanaoga hapo hivyo. Ana sema siezi yoga. Mimi nikatoa tu viatu, nikaosha miguu sura, mikono. Tena tukarudi. Tukarudi sasa ikafika ikafika jioni. Ushanga nao my guys natembea na hao hao tu wakuli ba. Hao tu wakuli wanakula bangi. Alafu tena bado niko shy so siezi waomba food ama kitu. Food ama do cuz pia wanakaa tena hawana do. Ushanga hao watu plan hiyo nini? Cuz niko sure lazima watakula. Of course. Hawezi lale vile tumechapa malap hiyo laps ni watu wamechapa. Hapa lazima kuna watu wako na njaa. <laughs> Nikasema nda chill now so watakula. Kaisudo. Dice kaanza kuingia nikasema leo sirudi huko Jack and Jill. Penye hao watu watalala. Ndio mimi nitalala nao. So apparently hiyo <laughs> marikiti kuna hizi buses um, eh, si buses lorry. Mm. Lorry zinatokanga TZ nini zinakunya zimebeba pineapples mm. eh, na machungwa. Yeah. So ziwa zime zimepaka hapo hivyo ndo nikoona hizo lorry zimepark au watu au machoko chokatoa ma, ma box wakaziweka hapo chini ya lorry afu sasa hiyo nilikuwa nime, nimeunda ma, ma beshe na hata sasa hii nimesahau majina yako kuna mmoja sana nilikuwa beshe yangu sana mm. ndaambia story yake baadaye <laughs> so tukaingia chini ya lorry sasa tum, tumechill at least na hapo chini ya lorry upepo huko inaingia cuz hii side nilikuwa building alafu lorry hii side kuna fence ya concrete so chini ilikuwa a bit a bit warm So tumechill hivi lakini bado najiuliza hatuja <laughs> dish. Mimi tena mizi azoea kugos ku moja bila kula. This is only my second day that I'm going to kula vile ulikula the previous day. Hasa hiyo eh sasa hiyo bao inanitandika. 
Kagiza kakaingia au madere wa lori wakaingia ndani ya lori I think ilikuwa around 10 or 11 hivi wakadoze au watu wa lori walikuwa wamedoze ndo wao majamani kwa wana wanaanza kutoka toka one by one chini ya chini ya whatever lori I mean kawafuata tukatoka Uh, apparently kumbe tuna, tunatoka kwenda ku, kuiba ma, machungwa ah. so vile watu wamelala si tukashu tukafungua hiyo matandarua hata mm. ijafunikwa vizuri mm. tukachukua machungwa kadhaa mpaka nilikula machungwa karibu 6 ama 7 hiyo ndio ilikuwa dina hiyo siku <laughs> na tuka survive na ili, ilikuwa poa so tukamaliza tuka kula after karudi tu hata tu bila aibu kutinya hiyo the same na mnanuka tu machungwa mikono yeah so uh, apparently ilikuwa ni, ni kama normal because at the same time mm. pia kesho yake asubuhi tena nikashangaa ah uh, udere tena alipa wa guys ni kama ndo wamemchungia e, ni mbona mimi sijalipwa kumbe au oh, kuna wa boys hapo pia walikuwa kwa payroll au oh, ndo oh, uchunga hizo ma, ah, ma lori boys. usiku mm. so even though i think the in the camp because nilika nilika kwa streets karibu 8 days In the coming days even we'll go on um, the eight will come account on tatana na mimi. Si kukonda by the cause they want only struggle leo machungwa mm. but after after that nilikuwa na fota na oh my guys so then <laughs> kulikuwa na time sasa au au mama they will come ku sasa kununua hizo vitu kutoka kwa lori wapeleke kwa soko mm. so walikuwa nataka watu wakubeba so mm. <coughs> ulikuwa na bebea mmoja half the time nilikuwa nilikuwa nime kumaunga eh yeah, yeah, nilikuwa nilikuwa na nilipiga leba one yeah. one or two una years chapa, uko una chapa ma shift kadhaa i think ilikuwa a five bob kutoka hapo hadi huko hivi so in a day kwanza unamaliza siku unaona kuna kaa 60 Cause first of all you shafika 30 you kushua lunch kwa sote. <laughs> Inafika 30 tulikuwa tunafunga kibanda ilikuwa tu hapo yeah. tunaenda tunadishi alafu tena mnakuja mnachapa mnachapa ah Ah after kukula mm-hmm. no after after kukua na job sana job ilikuwa Nenda Nairobi River sasa. Ah after, after hiyo ilikuwa malapse. Mm-hmm. Kwanza ulikuwa una 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 lapse ulikuwa mnaenda wapi? Mnatafuta nini? Na ah ilikuwa I think ilikuwa ku pass two time. <laughs> Cuz ni either ukae tulikuwa na kapo chini sasa alafu kulikuwa na hierarchy. Kulikuwa ah. na wengine walikuwa ni kama wazee hapo wanachapa story si tukikaa kama hapo wanatufukuza maruira mm. zi watoto nini wengine walikuwa na dishi jaba hapo hivyo but those stories mm. zilikuwa zinabamba zilikuwa zina as in hiyo mm. environment ilikuwa na ni na ni excite excite hivi kidogo yeah. kidogo yeah. Mm. so tuka ili survive hivyo karibu 8 days Uh, for seven days at eight, the eighth day ndo nilitoka nili cause nakumbuka cause nili first of all nikakuwa mabeste na au my guys tuko na hang out na out umeanza kuvota ile kitu yao sasa this time uh, yo luckily siku siku ishika lakini ulikuwa umepupu eh mko mna pride na pada flesh ya kupupu <laughs> karibu na review kwa hivyo karibu na review huko karibu na review mnatoka mudhuro ukikazwa unaenda mpaka kwa mbaka hiyo river as you ni river gani lakini najua hiyo place kulikuwa na river sasa pale mtu anosha mkono hapa msana shit. Mtu yeah. anaoga hapa chini. Damn. Kupu ni huko. Kwanza kupu ilikuwa place upstream huko hivyo kulikuwa na mabushes hivi ni manduma ama ni nini. Yeah. Unaenda huko unajificha. Now lakini mimi siku siku toa nguo yangu fully for the one week. So one week sikupiga hiyo shawa kabisa. Eh hey. lakini sana sasa hizi uko tu hivyo. Na bado sasa hivi uko tu hivyo. Eh but niliunda my best because no no mlikuwa mnajipanguza na nini ukisha kupu. Eh? Yeah? Matawi. Okay. Hizo maswali gani hizo? Ah, niko tu curious. Unajua hii maisha ni tofauti kidogo. Hapa ndio therapist anasema angaleta pingu. No but uh, I I think the 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 more time cuz me as a naturally as a person me who get along easy now to me who make friends easily. So to me after I re- day one kwa 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 ma best na na watu mm. so ndo ikafika something around day 5 ndo mm. watu wakaanza kuniuliza maswali funny funny siko nataka kuuliza wale mm. wewe nini nimekuleta hapa hivi azimu toka wapi mm. so watu wana, wana share stories zao mimi eh, my my pero wangu my parents died i was being mistreated oh. by whatever yeah, yeah. mwingine alikuwa ame amekuja am, 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 often amekuwa na marela hapo alikuwa na mistreat akahepa 
As in, kila mtu alikuwa na sob story. So, eh, hey, kafika tangi yangu, yama shit. Mi niko na wazazi. Niko na wazazi. Niko shule. Homes ya, tisisi, atujiwezi vile. Niko shule. Nilijileta hapa, on my own volition. So, uka cook story. Si kuku cook story. Niluambia tu story vile yuko. Niluambia mi nili hepa tu shule. Nili. Nimejileta hapa hivi. Ah oh, leza na kinakupeleka aje? Niambia ni hard. <laughs> ni kugumu lakini lakini niko niko sawa. So as in nikawaambia tu story yangu ni nini ni, wakanyamazia. Lakini sasa kufika hapo around day day 7 hivi. Kulikuwa na jama mmoja nimesahau sio alikuwa anaitwa Pato Manani. Tumuite Rick for now jo. Tunakuona kuna kuna fikiria kama Rick. Tumuite Rick. Alikuwa na make sense ama kuna make sense Rick. Alikuwa na make sense. So tumuite Rick. Tumuite Tumuite Deno for now. Alikuwa amekaa kwa street. So tukafika time cuz akakuja akaniambia by the way hiyo hata kuniambia sasa tulikuwa every time tulikuwa as a group lakini like sasa hii tukajipara ni kama i think hawa wengine by the way walikuwa hiyo side nyingine walikuwa wavuta either sigara ama bangi so si tulikuwa hiyo side nyingine sasa tunachapa story i think hiyo time tulikuwa tumetoka ku beba hizi mzigo so tumeunda do kulikuwa na mama alikuwa anatuletea ilikuwa mkimo na chai so tulikuwa tuna dish hapo ndo sasa akaanza kuniambia wewe oh, unajua watu wengine kama mimi niko hapa hivi natamani ningekuwa na, na home if i had a place to, to go mm-hmm. meaning geenda as in wewe si urudi tu nyumbani kaanza mwambia sasa saa hizi ujue nisha blanda ni mm-hmm. nishavuka hiyo rive siezi rudi shule saa hizi of course nikirudi nikufukuzwa mm-hmm. nikienda home tena naogopa eh nikienda home sora ni chapa huko vibaya sana wanauliza mm-hmm. ni nimehepa shule ya nini Aka, akaniambia twende kwa hiyo time ilikuwa hizi masimu za kuweka ma kubole kubole hapo hivyo ya tuende kwa hiyo eh, phone booth upigie budako simu nikamwambia nika ah tutampigie kesho ah akaniambia twende leo akajaribu ku insist na mimi nikamwambia ah, acha tumalize tu siku yeah. eh, tumpigie kesho <coughs> ah haya kesho ikafika nikidhani amesahau akanikumbusha asubuhi na mapema mm-hmm atukaenda mpaka hapo hiyo sasa hiyo time bado niko na uoga stake kupigia fadhi home yeah. nika tukafika hapo kwa phone booth nika chicken out nikamwambia nika tumpigie kesho mm. akasema hapana nipatie namba yake ndio ongea na yeye hata sikuwa na do your time nakumbuka yeye ndo alikuwa na coins kadha aka akaweka hapo aka call eh, mdabu akamwambia tuko na kijana yako hapo kwa hapa tu huku hiyo time boda kwa kiambu hiyo hiyo time boda alikuwa kiambu but my mom hiyo time alikuwa mwalimu Nandi Hills so budangu alikuwa ame ako side za za Nandi Hills so mimi niko hapo hivyo nasikia tu jamaa anajirudia tuko Nairobi kwa street tuko I think budangu bado alikuwa anashangaa eh huyu ni nani huyu mimi ana kijana wangu wako shule Oi time yote shule ya jasema. Shule ya pigia wazazi hata. Wapi? What? Ai wamelozo na vestabli shule hizi. Shule melozo one waka na haja kwa kuzani. Yo. Amko na roll call ama sije. As in cuz watu walikuwa na wana helper shule. Oh. So but a week. But at time even your favorite teacher wasn't like who are co happy favorite teachers Danny oh, Danny oh, ilikuwa favorite wa mwalimu wa shule I think ana like... shule ilikuwa peaceful hiyo we ilikuwa na line managers mad lakini jamaa waliongea na Buda for karibu I think 5 5 minutes waliongea for a while alafu ndo aka hang up so na alafu after me hang up alafu do don't do ilisha mm. si hata ku hang up don't do ndo ilisha but i think walikuwa um, ara siezi sema ni conversation gani wali have na budangu yeah. but this year uliza budangu yun conversation gani wali have na mm. yeye yeah, anajua tu ni chokora alinsaidia kutoka kwa kwa mm. streets so but apparently budangu alikuwa hiyo side akapigia um, an uncle of mine mwenye tulikuwa tunaishi brother ya budangu mm. akamwambia 
tafuta vijana upande matatu and then in Nairobi muanze kutafuta ujama <laughs> wow. so well, you the same day wali come apparently hawaku nipata mm-hmm. so mimi taoni kubwa yeah mimi nikaendelea kuna mtu sasa hizi anda tu CBD utafute utafute huyu ni hivyo but alikuwa amewapatia area <laughs> minara <laughs> down area kutafuta ah, okay. so you ilikuwa tu hapo ndio side ya Jack and Jill mtorua hapo chini chini so but the second day isa ilikuwa the my eighth day in the streets mm-hmm. do sat tulikuwa tunatembea hivi tumetoka kukula tumetoka ku one load hizo ilikuwa ma, ilikuwa mananasi hiyo time tumezi unload tumepata hiyo do kiasi hizi 25 bob tumekula hiyo chai mkimo ai hiyo tulikula dish yangu ya mushi na umu ilikuwa chapati chafua mm-hmm. ilikuwa chapo yeah, na chapati chafua ni nini what is that chapo na supu ya Yama. ya beans oh tunaweka pili pili hapo eh beans hiyo pesa iko imefika kozi chapo ile warufu 10 bob so chapo mbili alafu <laughs> wanakuchafulia hapo na supu <laughs> na unaendelea so tulikuwa na te, tunatembea i think tu, 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 maraundi tu ndo kutoka umbali tu nikaona jamaa sura familia na kaka ya so eh najaribu kuhepa eh but something inside yes, me of relief una hepa eh, bali ah zin nataka kujua kama ni mtu anaweza mchapa sura ilikuwa sigh of relief mm. lakini Najaribu kuhepa tena lakini tena nakumbuka eh hapo pia nimekapitia. Unasema kaenda. Na wewe hapa consequences nikasema fuck it. Kaende. Hata nikaenda hata hakuwa mimi ameni recognize nikamshika. Anko ni nini? Ni nini? Eight days lakini umeka yani eight days nilikuwa ni eh nilikuwa mchafu unjio for you eight days jaoga ya change nguo t-shirt nilikuwa nayo ilikuwa ya white tunabeba mizigo karibu kila siku ilikuwa imechafuka hivi eh anko yangu alinichukua tu hapo akaambia huyo jamaa tulikuwa naye asanti akamwachia eh, do fulani the first thing nilimwambia tu i need to shower shower gani tulienda kawash si kawash ara mimi nikakupeleka dena ile uchafu lazima uwashie kozma basi za matatu za kiambu yo time si kama mpaka sasa hizi zikuwa 120 shillings and root okay kisi mpaka nairobi 350 <laughs> but hapo <laughs> sasa tukaenda of course matri lazima ngoje zijae but kabla mm. zijae ulikuwa na hoteli hapo nikamwambia eh ni baye kuku kwanza nikakula kwanza hiyo joga hata bado ah wapi nikakula full <laughs> chicken full chicken eh chipo na soda eh hiyo chakula ilikuwa tamu alafu tukaenda home uliingia kwa matatu tu hivyo eh matatu niliingia tu hivyo damn yani kuna nakadu chokora sila nilikuwa anuka poa lakini wewe of course kwanza umejipanguza huko nyuma na leaves of course unanuka tu unaenda hivi mkono kufikiria watu wanalala nilienda anko anakuambia ka hivi nilienda home nikapata washa washa nichemshia maji ya kuoga <laughs> Nika chapa shower proper nikatoka unaosha kama kuku una chinjo yani ile unaoga ndio ndio waga wangu akaniambia haya hiyo hiyo round ya gozi ilikuwa ya kutoa uchafu sasa kumbe ni kiongo alikuwa amechemsha maji nyingine sasa rudi uoge vizuri nikarudi nikoga vizuri tena nikakula ushaka kula kuku again Mimi na kuambia ukikaa streets one week do uta appreciate food. I think ndo maana pia ras squeeze like niko sensitive na mambo ya food wastage. Every every hata kama nimebaisha chicken wing moja itakaa kwa fridge one month spend kutupa food. So nikaoga kesho yake ikafika wakanichukua kaniweka kwa basi nika sasa nikaenda di Nandi Hills kwa penye masangu na budangu wako mm. ukapata umetengeneza viboko mm? hao walikuwa na maji moto <laughs> hao walikuwa na viboko hao walinisomea yeah. walinisomea proper alafu sasa viboko nilikula shule so eh, isa ikafika time ya ya, ya kurudi shule kisi kisi school bado kisi school so tuka, uh, tukarudi 
I think your time sasa ndo narudi ndo maybe ndo realize uja ama kumbe hajakuanga hapa hivi. Are you for real? Uh, That's so tuk- disturbing. Tukaenda kwa deputy principal. Sasa ungerudi tu Daru kai chini. Eh ungeendelea tu. Yaani ungerudi chini. Ah ma prefect walikuwa wanajua hao nilikuwa kwa hit list yao. Hey. Nilienda kwa kwa deputy principal. Ah tukamalizana na kesi, nikafukuzwa nika nirudi home walinipatia suspension i think okay. kwa one week nikarudi of course unarudi kama umenunua mabati sengenge yeah. 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 they ever use them hmm? i mean no, no, si kama zile like, hockey stick watu news news ni endanga wapi lakini watu wako ipa shule hawafai kufukuzwa shule unafaa kuongezewa wiki yeah as in yeah ya kubaki i i beat point as in nimeepa shule hapo kwani shule enda nyumbani for me i was like works for me at least in the week eh yeah this time ni anaza karibu 8 days lakini legit <laughs> Move over my head. Wait. <laughs> oh, Lord. Was smart. Hey, lakini kurudi kulikuwa na hiyo six of the best. Ulikuwa unatoa trouser. Unatandikwa na pipe hapa kwa matayo boko zako sita hapo na deputy principal. Why? Mbona unatoa trouser kwa nini? Eh, hiyo shule. Wao mse alikuwa anapenda tu kuona matakwa ya wasi. Sababu mbona sasa mbona unatoa unatoa nguo ndio? Hey but uh <laughs> that is This is the first time you monachak say make a circle go. Hey. No you you likuwa nika likuwa nika routine. Kwa makosa big ilikuwa your six of the best. Sisi high school yetu ungechukua pole pole. Unachukua zilikuwa zinaingia. Why do you need to be beaten? That's the thing. Eh mimi nilitandikwa na come to think of it as ikuwa zina work. But you could man as in up to now will mean raise what to is sioni essence ya kuchapa mtu hii cuz sisi tukigrow up tulitandikwa a lot nilikuwa natandikwa lakini nafanya the same mistake yes you are eh yeah. cuz me really as in i was not see the same thing nilikuwa mtoto mtukutu but i was you had your moments i had my moments cuz <laughs> yeah. i remember there was a time tulikuwa na hii radio kambao ka kitambo radio ya mbao Yeah, he read you a little sign me on the number. See at 20 baba. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry guys. Nini wale unaambwa ITV ni 4K. Wallahi. Baba hii mbili shika hii. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I let that one slide. Obachi back to you. No, to tulikuwa tunaundwa. Mimi niliundwa. Mimi kuna nimeundwa mara mob. Nimeundwa hadi na na sufuria. Ai. I think we're going to pick up tonight. Lakini nilisumbua. Cuz kama hiyo radio ilikuwa ni time ya news. Nakumbuka Ujamaa alikuwa anasema news hapo anasema nimefika lunch time ilikuwa anasikia anasikia njaa. <laughs> Mimi kwa kwa akili yangu mimi hao watu wanasikia njaa alafu nilikuwa na uji tukaweka uji ndani ya radio radio ika dead <laughs> Mira sanga mbona imenyamaza wani watu wameshiba wamelala <laughs> Hapo kwa miaka ngapi Now 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 I understand why Sasha broke the TV. Hai. That was payback. Papa gave me too. Mbacha collection na mara the Lord's work. Mimi sikuja present kwa baba Malala. Ah nilikuwa nilikuwa mtu wewe nilikuwa around class class 3. Class 2 3 hapo. Lakini niliundwa niliundwa proper. Acha ni kwamba hata kama class 3 au jinga na ulikuwa. Niliundwa proper. Niliundwa proper. Anaenda kwa kisha radio anapata uji ndani. Ni mimi na innocence yangu niliopelekea nikawaambia hao watu walikuwa wasikia njani wapatia uji. Radio wameacha kuongea. I tell you. If my kids do that naenda kula pesa yake university. 
Umeanza kumpangeza university mwafiki huko. Milioni waona budangu. Hiyo ni budangu. Tena kuna time Ni budangu anatoa shati anakuambia kaende. Leo ni bila wewe. Kuna time pia masangu walikuwa na hii mambo ya chama ni nini? So ilikuwa tani yake. Walikuwa masangu walikuwa na joke bake cake. Alafu mimi nilikuwa nimeona kwa movie wazungu wanakula keki na fork ni nini nini. So mamangu wa bake cake ameificha huko juu. Watu wameenda kudoze. Mimi nikaamka usiku nimeenda nimechukua fork. So siku anajua ndo wanakatanga hivi wanauma na fork. So mimi nilikuwa watu wana So mimi nilikuwa mtoto. Nimedunga dunga hivi nimedunga dunga. I talk. Na umeacha evidence. Eh eh maki. Keki inakaa vibaya mashimo nika kuku ilikuwa na kula kula hivi. Nika give up nika chukua bite nikaenda nika dose. Asubuhi mamangu alinitoa mbio. Na kumuka alinitandika na muiko hivi. Nika hata muiko muiko ka chase huko hivi. Sasa zili na hepa. Akaangalia nini ilikuwa karibu hapo ilikuwa na sufuria. <laughs> Aka ikanipata kwa mgongo. <laughs> Nilitoka mbio tulikuwa na shamba ya nyanya huko chini. Nikaenda nikakaa hapo na kumbe nilikaa hapo karibu the whole day sasa. <laughs> Staki kurudi home. Nikangoja tu exactly jioni jioni sasa zile bado wageni wako ndo nikarudi. That's the perfect time. Yeah. Harudi ya kumaliza nini nini wageni wacha wageni waende. Oh. Oh. Beating. Mm. Nikulu wa beating. Like, after na kuna time. Yes. Na kwa mimi nilitesa pia mapero cause hao chini ilikuwa anga za jonga hizi tiles za mbao hizi za kitambo kitambo. Mm-hmm. Alafu kulikuwa na kulikuwa kuna nyesha nje. So tulikuwa na chomba mahindi nje. Lakini kukaanza kunyesha hiyo moto ika, ikazimika. Lakini bado ilikuwa mto hii. So mimi nikakuja nikachukua mbao hizo 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 mawe tatu nje. Okay, yeah, sitting okay, room. Yeah, <laughs> na na, ma, na ma, <laughs> tulikuwa na ma, na ma, na ma sister zangu kusema <laughs> nothing can hakuna hakuna mtu aliona hii fine kusema nothing can stop reggae maingi kumaza ingi mimi ni fast ball sasa hizo wananifuata tumeenda tumechukua mwendo toko tu zile mama kuni zilikuwa sasa zinanyesha nyesha sasa karibu kuzimika tumeweka hapo sitting room tuna sasa tunajaribu kuwasha washa moto wacha floor hiyo floor hiyo vanish inaanza kuwaka ikispread hivi allah Eh uzuri yo time eh, kuna anti yetu tulikuwa tunakaa naye ndio wakakuja wakamwagia maji haraka haraka ni moshi ilikuwa imejaja kwa nyumba <laughs> eh ilibidi wa over how whole floor mzima that is why eh, yote niliundwa sasa <laughs> ameacha <laughs> 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 ameacha kusema kuchapwa akamwambia wewe ndio mjinga mlikuwa mlaka walikuwa ndio bila kuunda watu wao isaidi cuz we were gonna undo and find the same thing tomorrow cuz we also used to move a lot so kuna time pia tulikuwa cuz my dad used to work uh, in the tea plantation mm. so akapatiwa transfer place flani huko gatundu in the middle of their badeas So sounds na, beautiful to na sound very ah hiyo la hiyo unijua ni kama pitch za ushago kwa mm. zinakaanga peaceful lakini mm. kuishi huko ndani si peaceful hiyo tu mtu mtu na post kwa gram at ah looks so like a simple peaceful life <laughs> kwa picha ishi huko hivyo ndio unianza life life hapo ilikuwa ngumu cuz ilikuwa usiku mandovu zinakuja zinapita kwa nyumba yeah. zina denki hapo hivyo so i remember hiyo those are time nikadanganya my sister zangu alafu home kulikuwa na tulikuwa na na hii mkuki tulikuwa na na whatever hii mshale so mizi ma movie mingi zimenidanganya nimechukua my sister zangu hapo ni watoto nawaambia twende hii abadeas to hunt to hunt and of hunt and of na wako tu sawa tulitoka home 10 am mimi nawaambia msi trust me ni trust that wezi potea Tumetembea tukavuta tukavuka mtu wa kwanza tukatembea tukavuka mtu wa pili tukavuka ya tatu eh nikaangalia huko juu naona eh hey, inaanza kukaa ni kama imeanza kukakaa late late hivi tuturudi mm-hmm. eh tunaanza kurudi hata tupati mtoni hata moja <laughs> giza ndio hiyo imeanza kuingia <laughs> tumeanza kupanic alafu hiyo 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 fore <laughs> ilikuwa na mandovu mob so ulikuwa unazisikia sikia from, from afar 
but so uzuri tukapatana na au ma, ma forest ma forest oh, waters yes. mm-hmm. eh yeah. mm-hmm. hey, ndo wakatupeleka wakaturudisha home mm-hmm. yo siku tukalala poa eh hey. kesho yake budangu akatuita aka meeting mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, nikajua hapa kamenuka <laughs> aka aka kwambie bu muhesabu mko ngapi <laughs> sio nilikuwa mimi na masita zangu watatu hiyo time mwingine alikuwa mdogo sana huyo alikuwa i think your time but i think one or two years aya so kila one old mempata msale mvuke rivi ah one year old alibaki home mimi alibaki home sisi wengine ndo tulienda akasema sasa kila mtu kiboko tano 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 Deni senda chuna. So mimi ulikuwa <laughs> tu muende uchune kiboko yako. <laughs> Kenda nikachuna nikaleta nikajua hai ni 55 kila mtu tuna tuna share share hapa hivi. <laughs> ah sema haya nani alipanga yu upuzi. Kali ni geuzi. Sema haya sawa mko ngapi? 555 5 20. I knew kula zangu 20 hapo hivyo. Walichukua pli bargain. Walizua pli. <laughs> hey, lakini hey, looking back as in your time ilikuwa fun but yeah, ilikuwa risky. Yes, risky. Mm-hmm. Mimi naona mapero wako ndio nafaa kwa therapy. Yeah, ni mimi. Hao mao mapero ni mwapitisha. Ni mimi mwapitisha. The sisters they had a choice. Ah, mtoi mtoi unajua nini baba. If you believe your big brother tells you let's do this. Yeah, mtoi mtoi love farm. Ah, very fast. Mimi kuna so many times niambia big brother zangu na. Is on the memories. Is on the memories cuz like looking back even staying in the in the streets and and everything <laughs> as much as it was tough and killer kid was in some part of me doesn't regret it i was like okay mm. this is just part of the, it, it was part, part of, of my story. story it was part of my story because it it shaped a lot of what i grew to become mm. I, I, after that i became more appreciative mm. more empathetic towards towards others especially the the homeless the mm. street kids and stuff i became really empathetic and the little i have i i i, I feel thankful for the mm. little i have cuz mm. i i already have been with people who have nothing, nothing. Mm. but you have a lot <laughs> you have a lot mm. you have a lot mm. but <laughs> what were the little i have what were yeah, money, money you can, money can enjoy, can, yeah. you can enjoy. <laughs> 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 but talking of kids right is it scary raising your kids on the internet the way you do this age as a parent um everything is scary waking up is scary drinking water is scary everything is scary everything has its own risks so. ah ebu acha nione we bro choko jaribu hizo after the podcast please i was not scared i can promise you <laughs> yeah. yeah it's it, 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 it's it's a bit scary but yeah. just there's a fine line you know you just try to to walk on that fine line mm-hmm. yeah they, they, it's always scary raising your kids on the internet yeah on, off the internet yeah especially the internet the internet is a wild it's a wild yeah, place sure. like yeah sometimes you can um, post a photo of your kids and then you're like why are there more bookmarks than retweets <laughs> yeah Ooh, what, why, what are you bookmarks in this for like yeah. what do you want to come back to refer to true yeah. yes <laughs> no honestly <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit it can get scary yeah it mm. gets, gets but, the, a bit but the cutest scary. video I've seen this week is of Sasha trying yeah. to sing Sasha Divasita that was funny yes. Sasha Divasita I just want to be you played it for No Sasha is a character no cuz yeah cuz most of the times we usually <clears throat> but <clears throat> most of these songs <clears throat> it's the the nannies ah, okay. when they are when they are with them mm-hmm. so those are the songs that they usually sing cuz yeah like we, with us cuz um, for me i find it hard to nikiwa hapa nje no maybe muongea kiswahili mm-hmm. but when i'm home because my wife can't speak swahili that fluently so mm-hmm. we find ourselves communicating more in in english yeah. mm-hmm. but now when they are with the nannies the nannies speak kizungu na wapiga chenga so i only kiswahili so yeah. with the It's nannies they talk swahili and then uh, with us English so they kind of knowing a lot of languages. Lot of languages yeah, and then they also Yeah, they me I can't speak Russian but then they speak mm-hmm. Russian. Oh okay. nice. Aujajua tukusema ni pe leo. 
No, that language is <laughs> it's difficult. Woman yeah. scale Gina to. Polikapova. Mina kunga tu polikapova. That language is quite something. Yeah, but no one likes them. Russian sounds like a DJ spinning back a track. Like shh, 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 shh. That's true. That's uh, true. And you rec- recently met Sue, and helped her cook for her husband. Yo, is on nini mli pika kwa? Atano lize is is it a real husband? Yeah. Stome. Yeah. Nim to like mm. a real person. A and it's being. an actual husband. They're married. Sick when the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take for you guys to cook? But they it's cook an husband. Muli <laughs> chimba and entire. Oh, it, 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 took, it, it took quite a while. It took quite a while. From chimba yo, shimo, <laughs> I was leaving. We were finishing, I think, at night there, around eight. No, we were finishing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, na kumbuka nilinuka Moshi two days. <laughs> What? Na si mara ya kwanza. Nukoaga. Hayo Moshi itoki kwa mwili mimi. Yo Moshi itoki kwa mwili. Yeah, but it was a it was a nice experience because it sort of also took me back. Because as yeah, much yeah. I don't know the perception that people kind of have that me I'm a, a cool kid a bontao. Mm. I only came to Nairobi which was it after I finished high school when mm-hmm. i was joining campus basically all my life mm-hmm. i was raised in kisi when uh, kisi nyamira i went to okay. primary school in some place called suneka okay. i know suneka very well <laughs> yeah of course that's as you kisi do. as it gets that's that's where yeah, i went to kisi, I, I went to kisi school, school. <laughs> yeah. so that was my childhood i grew up uh, in in nandi hills tea plantations as in as my life has always been on the move Ushago uko mm. on the move like Limuru, Gatundu. So when I, I actually came to Nairobi, when was it? 20, 20, 2010, 2011? Yeah, that, okay. was, that was like when I came to, to yeah, Nairobi. Yeah, so for me, Nairobi is just... I'm not, I'm not really, really an, an, an Nairobi, Nairobi guy. Yeah, I just yeah. have assimilated well. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, like the thing like we did with Sue, it, For me, it was like, oh, this, this, the yeah. shit we used to do growing up. Because in the tea plantations, we used to hunt for rabbits. Yeah. You sort of, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that yeah. life was good because I, yeah. I remember, um, and my dad as well was, um, I think it's illegal now. We used to be illegal loggers. It was burnt forest, yeah. or something yeah. like that. So uh, my dad used to take us some, uh, some uh, me alone, not the sisters. Mm, yeah. So we take us. We used to go sleep in the, in the bush, and then these guys that were logging, they for some reason they they had a way of chasing down these small small forests. You, I don't know why they're called dig digs or gazelles mm. or something. Mm. Yeah, so we used to. Hunt. Cook them on the, on the fire, <laughs> eat them. Uh, so, sometimes, you know, they were they used to to. F- I don't know where they used to get these b- baby monkeys because you know these. You eat monkeys? Not eating them. <laughs> no, they were, it was just my, the monkeys. They used to keep them uh, around the because uh-huh. because when you when you go to to log in the forest, mm. you stay there for it's not a one day thing that mm. you go and come out. You can stay there for up to three weeks or up to a month. Doing there. what? You, down you're just uh, cutting down trees, logging, and then so you pile up. So by the time now you guys get a lorry. Mm. Just you you proper. just just at the lorry and go. You don't go one day. You can't fill up a lorry. It takes okay. uh, it takes a while because like one day the entire day it will, maybe you guys can only finish one tree because falling felling a tree you know trimming the the mm. boughs and everything returning them back to site so you have to wake up tomorrow do it again. No, you've worked your whole life literally. Yeah, yeah it was uh, it, it was a nice experience. So. I've, I've, was it? <laughs> no, that 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 was fun for me. Yeah. For me, yeah. I used to to enjoy yeah. it because my dad didn't take me there as child labor. It, <laughs> it was a bit of child it was labor. Bonding. Like, it was bonding. Yeah, we, we it, it was, was it, it, bonding it, it, over work. It, it was more <laughs> cool. bonding. So we, we I, I did a lot of things with my uh, with my dad because we were not that privileged growing up. Like gotcha. everything was a um, was a hassle. Like mm. my, my my mom used to be. Um, primary school teacher and then we were an african family you know we have five children and then we also grew up with our cousins so that money will never yeah. there was no way it's going to be enough for us so my mom used to sell mtumba uh, in the market you remember the market in yeah. nandils was like sokomjinga yeah. 
Uh, and then now when she went now to, to Sokomjinga, we had a small farm where we had onions. So now me, uh, my duty now was to sell the, 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 the clothes market was down and then the onions market was outside here, up the food section. So me, because young will go kuza vitungu up on the, on the market and... I used to eat most of the money. <laughs> I used to get into a... Into as you a, should, lazima <laughs> ujilipe. Nilikuwa na jilipa vya excess. Lazima ujilipe. Nilikuwa... No, the, the mistake my mom did. I mean, you wake up, where I'm supposed to be selling the, the onions, it's here. And then just next to me, mom wakuza samosa. I sell a bunch, five shillings. Samosa. Samosa moja. I sell another. Wakula samosa. So in the evening, my mom, <laughs> my mom comes, I'm like, na fa kuwa na around 150 or even 200. Mm-hmm. And apata ni gona karibu ka 50. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ni me kula alafu uko, uko nyumbani. And, and then, you know, I had a, I had a way of hiding because yeah. I was not eating alone. I also had some bad friends over there. So, I'm like, leo ni mimi na chafua meza. Yeah. Tunakula masamosa, ni kiona vitunguzi na reduce. The, the guys know where our farm is. Nambi we, and I'm top up, up, up to say, to mm. So that's that's how you saw. Survive. Yeah, my mom introduced me to 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 that, and then yeah, also at uh, at some point we also used to sell sugarcane. So like, I used to have a, a stall outside mm-hmm. outside our our house. So my job was just cutting for people. Your five bob, mm. your ten bob. My my dad now used to to sell it wholesale because he used to go buy from the farm and then now sell to these people who sell it in town. So he used to sell in bulk. Mm-hmm. But then there were these off-cuts, off-cuts that, you know, those people can't buy. So that mm-hmm. was ours now to sell outside. So we used to go outside there, sell it. I come back home in the middle uh, at at night now. As my dad now is uh he tells me also now calculate yeah, how much you, you, you've sold. So yeah. yeah, my dad also introduced me to a little bit of hustling here and there. That's not a little bit. It's a, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> a lot. Mimi konza na shindo, ukiona a full-time job at the tea factory. Unenda one month kwa forest. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> like your whole holiday. That, 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 life, that life was quite... That life was quite tough. And yeah. then... Yeah. yeah, so... That's why for me, like I'm still right now still enjoying Nairobi. You know, I'm still yeah. enjoying the vibes of the city. But mm. deep down, I know once... I'm done. If I make Village boy. good money, no, you will make good money. Yeah. I will want to run away from the city and yeah. go back to, to where I came from. That's the goal. In in a in, in a better situation. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So the, the the done done after every step on your cooking was that intentional from the jump? Am I? It was just coincidental. Oh, the, the, the done 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 mm. after every step. Mm. That was not intentional because. Mm. Um, I used to, if there's someone who's like inspired my my culinary journey, uh, uh, it's it's Gordon Ramsay. Cause mm. I, even when I was still like playing rugby, I, I had not started pursuing content creation as as you know a, a hobby or a, a source of income. I used to watch a lot of a lot of his videos, especially to to go to sleep and stuff. Mm. Like when I'm bored, I just put like it a on. Food channel. Yeah. Mm. And um, there were there, there's this sort of segment or something that he used to to do, and then after after the end of the dish, now for him it was after the end of the dish, he was like uh, so and so if it's uh, meatball in coconut sauce, done. But that was um that was a long time ago. That was almost before I started cooking. It was around. Eight or ten years ago. So you have interest in cooking, but you're not actively cooking. Yeah, I was interest. I had interest in cooking, but I'm not. I was just cooking, cooking for myself, That's but right. not sharing it mm. uh, uh, with people. Mm. So, and then, so even if you look at my earlier um, videos and and stuff, I, I I didn't used to to say it mm. because I still hadn't found my my way. I, I hadn't found my identity. I was just still in the process of trying to see what what what, what works for you. Yeah. So it reached a point where I was like, okay, because I remember like I started actually first as a food blogger. I uh I used to I had a blog called Women Should Cook, you know, women, not women. Mm. Women mm. should cook. 
So I used to share my recipes there and, and take really, really good photos. So, but then I, I looked at it, I was like, I personally, I've never read anyone's blog. I hate reading. Why am I doing Why do I have a I'm blog? Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what is yeah. this I'm doing? I'm not, I'm, I don't even like it. I'm, I'm not enjoying it. I hate, I hate writing. I hate reading. <laughs> what I like is the cooking, you know? Yeah. So I was like, but I was still doing it because I was like, yeah. okay, um, people are actually sort of giving me attention from it. Yeah. So I, I was doing it, but then it reached a point where I was like, oh, fuck no. this shit. So I let that blog die. I was like, okay, let me try now some some videos. Mm-hmm. So I, I actually first bought a proper DSLR camera. And then I was shooting uh, with the DSLR, uh, DSLR. Yeah. and then I was like, hey, content creation in Gomu. I have to f- shoot. I have to export it from the SD card. I have to look for a laptop. I didn't have a laptop, mm-hmm. so I have to look for a laptop, plug it in, transfer the the videos, edit, edit, <laughs> color grade. <laughs> I was like, what? I did like four videos and then I was like, ah, oh, if this is the life of, of content creator, I, I don't think it's it's working for me. This is too much effort. I'm not going to be CBD. Yeah. Very, very, very straight. I'm like, this is too much effort. So I, I I sat down and everything, all these things, the same thing as YouTube. I, I taught myself uh, cooking. It was through YouTube. Yeah. Even like when I bought the DSLR, shooting, editing, Everything I learned, like using uh, Premiere Pro, mm. uh, the Adobe yeah. uh, After Effects, I learned from 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 YouTube. Yeah. But then I'm like, I sat down and asked myself a question: like, what kind of content do I like consuming? Not even do I like, would I want to consume? Because mm. I looked at the videos, like I was chasing the aesthetics a lot, you know, trying to get that nice slow oh, motion okay. close shots. The things that when I was learning uh, on YouTube, I was, mm. those are the people who are saying, oh, B-roll, this stuff. Yeah. And I, was, I was like, this is not me. I'm trying to be someone, yeah. someone That's else. Not, yeah. It's not me. Like for me, I, um, the content I want to consume, it has to be short because I have a short attention span. Mm. My brain like moves so fast. Yeah. It has to be short. It has to be informative and entertaining at the same time. So mic check. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, so now from, from then on, now I started trying now to speed up my videos. So I, I was speeding them up, uploading them, and then I, I was like, ah, actually these ugly photo videos that I'm actually using my phone mm. are sort of getting better attention than the the ones I was using the DSLR. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, I'm going to give away this camera and DSLR, or whatever, the, the, the lenses. I even, I, I know, I knew a lot of le- uh, about mm-hmm. cameras, you know, I even bought the macro lens, a wide angle lens. But I was like, uh, oh, Jimani now was really interested in these yeah. uh, cameras and, and stuff. I was like, take these shits away from me, you yeah. go. Do you? Do you? I like that. Kumbes and those lenses are good company. <laughs> <laughs> no, good company, good company had started, but then I, I was like, I, I, I have these lenses, of, I don't think I'm using them, and they are just wasting my time. And then he told you, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> you know, I, I literally, I was literally with Jimani on, on I think on Wednesday. Mm. Yeah, I had a really good chat. Mm. I don't know, Makumba is, uh, he's, a, he's a deadbeat godfather. <laughs> Jimani, <laughs> let me... Uh, yeah, I'm a dead bit good for <laughs> Just like you his father. Oh! <laughs> Gee, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, so uh, I, I actually started, I was, now I started using my phone, but I think it was during COVID yeah. that when now I had a lot of time um, on, my, on my hands. So I, and, and then that's when now I, I moved, I moved now to the balcony. But I think before I moved to the balcony, it was it was an, another story because during COVID, mm-hmm. like I was still we were still actively playing sports. But now with COVID, all the flights were cancelled, so everything was cancelled. Mm-hmm. Our contracts were terminated, so I had no source of income. I just had a baby, 
I had another baby on the way. So I was like, uh, what, what can I do to, to, to earn income? And, and that, uh, that's when actually the roaming chef started. Before mm. COVID, just before COVID, is when I was going from house to house, cooking for people. Yeah. They, are, they were paying me. Uh, yeah, I, I did. I did a lot of that. So actually, that was the name of the business, the roaming the chef. Roaming chef yeah. Yeah. That was the name of the business. So it was good. It was good while well, it lasted, but then COVID came and then it had to, to stop. Because so now you couldn't go to people's houses. Yeah, so I had to find something else now that will sort of earn a bit of income as I hopefully uh, wait till when uh, the season can resume and then we can get back uh, in contracts. Is this where the chilies come in? Yep, mm -hmm. that's where the chilies ca ca come in because I was broke. And then I was like, okay, what other skill do I have? I was like, okay, I'm I'm good at, at cooking and I, I I make the best chili sauces. Okay. So Can check on the, that baseline. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I started cooking the um, the chilies inside the house, and then that's when Remy was so small. Yeah. So as I was cooking the chilies, the kid was coughing. I'm cooking the chilies, Remy's coughing all the way. Mm -hmm. And then my wife got pissed. She was like, you find yeah. another house, you go cook these chilies of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. cook them inside here. Yeah. And then I was like, ah, let me move it to the balcony. Mm -hmm. So I, I bought a small burner, took it, took, to, took it to the balcony, and then I started uh, cooking the chilies over there. So and then I was, as I was cooking, I was uh, shooting on my phone, posting it on my stories, some on Twitter. And then I'm like, ah, actually outside here, yeah, the, the, mm, like the lighting looks nice and yeah. stuff. So, I, I, yeah, as I was chilling, I was at chilling. Okay. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. As I was selling, I think in Ivile Nukula Mugimoji was here. Siko ba mizi ana mukume na kafzuri. Yomu kume liko tamu. Yo. Siko kula. Yomu kume liko tamu. Yomu kume liko tamu. Man. Yomu kume liko tamu. Alas kwa na jomu kume tanga na zawadi. Mimi kwa na shina mani kitu ni green. Mimi mani match potatoes menda tu shule. Kiku boys. Oh, kuna joko nini ni green? Yeah. Terere. Taxi, I cook. Ari terere. Please. Amani niuli akasi. It's manago. Manago. I. Pumpkin leaves. Pumpkin leaves. I'm not going to taxi. I cook. Yeah, I cook. <laughs> but you can't get a No, it's pumpkin leaves. Pumpkin, it's pumpkin, pumpkin leaves like silly. It's a nini. Silly. I'm going Yeah. Okay, so. Hmm. So the balcony thing became a thing now. Hmm. Yeah, the balcony thing didn't become a, a thing then uh, hmm. because. Then I was just uh, putting it on a small structure, on a small table, and then I had my banner there. And then so, but again, I was also, as, as much as I was selling chilies, um, you know, COVID, just being at home the entire month, you, mm. you get a bit, you feel like you're going crazy. crazy. I was like, oh, I, I, I need to, to leave the house. Yeah. What, 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 what excuse can I use you not know, to be sneaking out? And, and then I was like, okay. I have a passion in, in woodwork. Mm. I'm, I'm good with my hands. Let me go. Hey, finger, ma finger master. Hey. <laughs> 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 Let me go and, and, uh, and make uh, a few chopping boards uh, to, to, pass, uh, to pass time. Actually, to pass time, and I thought then that, oh, maybe if I make more, I can sell. Because, mm. you know, then I, money. I was just thinking of ways of making money here and there. Yeah. So I went, I made a few chopping blocks. People wanted to sell uh, me to sell it to them. And then I looked back at, at the effort I put at it. <laughs> and the back and forth, I was uh, taking uh, the fundies here mm. and there. And then I was like, ah, this is not viable. Yeah. But then I was enjoying it, like just the process of, you know, the DIYs, uh, uh, making shit to, to, uh, uh, to work. I was like, okay, now I have chopping boards. I need a working station outside here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make myself a, a working station, station outside yeah. here. So I went, took me another month, slow, slowly every day. You know, it was my excuse. Mm. Leave the house. I go make it, make it, come back. So and then uh, now after a month, I had my table. I had my banner, my banner, banner and then I had my butcher blocks yeah. and all the setup that you that you see, see now. Yeah. So and then now I started uh, apart from cooking chilies, now just cooking now what we eat at yes, home yeah. uh, outside because now it felt like something new, you know. Mm. 
it was exciting. So I was cooking and then sharing the videos. And then I'm like, ah, these videos, people are actually engaging starting with yeah, engaging with it. People are, are liking it. Yeah. But well, you haven't figured out how, how you'll make the money. Yeah, I haven't it. figured out how, how to monetize. It, monetize it or even like make it a thing. Okay. So I was like, okay, now let me start shooting seriously. Let me put my tripod here and start filming it properly. Mm -hmm. So I put my tripod, I filmed the first recipe, edited it the way I want it to be, um, fast, short, and, informat uh, and informative. Yeah. And my first video, I think, was around two minutes, 30 seconds or, or, or three minutes. So I posted it. I, my, my first videos were uh, uh, around that long and then oh, I was wow. not speaking in my in my videos. So I used to, to look for these sites with free, free music. I yeah. think I used to use YouTube. There's some free <laughs> music yeah, on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I used to uh, uh, lay, your, okay. lay, lay them over. Yeah. And then I, I'm, I'm posting it uh, on Twitter. Maybe it's fine. I post it on um, Instagram, I, IG, the, it's, it's, sometimes the music is muted. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, okay, I'm, I was like, I'm tired of this bullshit. So, <laughs> let, me <find laughs> let, me, let me master the courage of Speaking maybe trying to, to, to put in uh, uh, voiceovers. So, that's how I started putting now the voiceovers. And then I post them and then I'm like, okay, these ones with the voiceovers are kind of doing better than, than the, the other ones. Song, yeah. But I still, now the videos were around 2 minutes, 30 seconds, but I still found them too long. Because when I because I always look back, like, even up to today, sometimes when I'm free, I'll just uh, go back to my older content and then just sort of scroll, watch them again. And then, because that's how I measure my, my, my progress. Because if you just focus on what you're yeah. doing now without looking at where you're coming from, you'll never know whether you're progressing or whether you're stagnating. So I was looking at my videos and then with the eyes now of someone who's not me and then I'm like, oh, these videos are still too long. So, and that's when I came up with this mantra that I never want to make any video that's over one minute, uh, 30 seconds. Because uh, um, I kind of figured out that that was sort of my attention, my attention span. Because I, I want my videos to be... Even if you don't like them, by the time you realize you don't like them, you <laughs> it's over. It's over. Yeah. yeah, it's over. So I, I I started making them shorter, and then now the the shorter I I I make them, it means now the cuts are more faster. Mm -hmm. And then now I started talking, and then for some reason, you know, um, I found myself like when I'm uh, I was putting the the voiceovers, and I was like, okay. I, after I chopping this, I was saying done, but I was saying it subconsciously without knowing what I'm yeah. what I'm saying. Because I think from the years of, you know, watching Gordon Ramsay and everything, so it was like in my DNA. So I was sort of just spitting it, it out subconsciously and then I posted it. And then people said, oh, this guy says uh, no, done no, no, a, lot, no, no. a lot of time. Yeah. So the, 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 first, the first time I, I saw those comments... Um, I actually had an idea like, okay, maybe I'm saying it too much. But then, Nikiburi, for me, Nikiburi, because yeah. I, I always tell myself, I want to make something that I am happy with. Uh, like, as much as it's good, you know, to read the audience and everything, but do what makes you happy first so that if, if it, I'm sure if it will make me happy, there are some people that it will, it will make it. happy. So I was like, okay, I'll keep doing it. So I kept doing it and then because uh, it's just like, um, I don't know, it's, 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 people might not like something, but I think the more you persist, the more you keep giving it to them, you know? They will buy it eventually. They will buy it eventually. So I just kept persisting and then it sort of became my thing. So mm -hmm. I found out more people like it than the ones that hate they it. Like it. I was like, okay, I'll take it. So, and that's how the the Dan beat came came to be, and yeah, and how I actually was just shooting on my on my phone, and yeah. even up to today, I still shoot on my phone. But a better phone now. Yeah, Girl. better phones. iPhone. Better phone. Now, it's, now it's an. <laughs> I started shooting with an. It was an. What was this? It was the iPhone eight. That was the first phone I was. Uh, yeah. I was shooting it for yeah, fifteen. No, it's fourteen. Bad of fifteen. Fourteen and fifteen for me, the cameras sort of the yeah look the same. So I, I 
I still shoot on my phone, edit on my phone. So I sort of kind of actualize like what I wanted Simplicity to achieve from my time, phone. Yeah, uh, to export files. Yeah, exactly. Out. So short, mm-hmm. sharp, quick, uh, informative, easy to shoot. You know, I at some point I was like, I need a team. I need someone to shoot. I need someone to edit for me. But at the same time, I I love the freedom of just being me. Because mm. I also found out that I, if I give someone my footage to edit for me, they, they kind of, you can, they can edit with your style, but it, it won't be yours. Mm. They, 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 there's something, there's, there's, there's like every video of mine, it's like some, some soul of me is inside it. Yeah. Sure. So I decided, okay, it, it will affect my output. I don't post a lot, a lot of content. So for me, I was like, I'll focus on quality rather than than quantity. quantity yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, the few videos that I'll be able to do, let me make them the best that there are out there, and yeah. that will work better than having a video oh, out yeah. every other day that it's not substandard. So, yeah. So for me, it's always everything is just about efficiency, yeah. you know, and persistence. Most of these things, I it's also just stuff I learned from from rugby, you know, like discipline, you know, stuff like never give up, um, always reinventing your mm-hmm. yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, always, you know, you can do the same thing every day, but that same thing can be done differently every other day. And mm-hmm. that's, um, the essence is just to, to always try and remain relevant, try and remain um, timeless. Yeah. yeah, and most of these things, by then my life is just... I think it's just the the, the stuff I picked mm. up from from sports, from sports that yeah. just kind of keeps me keeps me going. Uh, uh, have you cooked some weird stuff? Like for instance, there's no absolutely no reason to cook snacks. Like <laughs> <laughs> for real, like o- o- frogs. Omena is fine. Even rabbits. I saw you cook a rabbit. Those things are too cute and small. Why? Una pick a rabbit? No, ra- but rabbits meat. we've been eating it since we were growing. Actually, to... it was not rabbits. We were eating their hairs. They were the yeah, wild ones. But yeah. now. Uh, rabbit meat is yummy. How is that? How is that? Uh, okay, cute. <laughs> do you even like lamb cow chops? Even hands are cute. So, yeah. do you like lamb chops? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what lambs are? So what are <laughs> have you cooked some weird stuff? Not, not much, mm-hmm. not much. I just don't have. I've never maybe had access to them because if I, I will, f- if I, if I can find frogs to cook, hey, frogs. Hmm? Ah. I, I, I don't. I won't mind eating it, but. <laughs> Cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking it. I don't know. Snails. Snails, yes. Snails are alive to cook because I've eaten them. Escago is, is, is <laughs> it's nice. It's it's yummy. It's delicious. It's, it's I, I would enjoy it if I don't know what it is. No, it's it's nice. It, it's not slimy. Yeah. What what happens when you put salt on it? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we were kids when we yeah. used to we used to pour salt on yeah, it. Yeah, as you should. As Why you would used you to, we used to put eat salt eat? around it and then just watch it suffer. Really? Yeah. What about yeah. kids? Jeffrey Dama material. Yeah, what? Yeah. Are you <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? Oh my gosh! <laughs> my spectacles. Ah. Yo, <laughs> what are you gonna call your chain of restaurants when you finally open it? My chain of restaurants. Yeah, that that of <laughs> course is the end goal. Yeah. Um, That's happening. For sure. I have an idea. Okay, mm-hmm. let's hear your idea. Roaming done. No, I, my, my bad my, idea. No <laughs> way. In in particular, short some kids. Apana, akuna. Done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see roaming. Dot 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 done. Yeah. Like there's no more roaming. Yeah, to make that we are we're done roaming. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm even now he's done <laughs> yeah, roaming. That's, that's a concept. Even now he's done roaming. That's a concept. No, my yeah. chain of restaurants. Uh, because the end goal, of course, is to own, even if it's one. Yeah. Um. But I think of, for me, it will because it's something that I'm doing, uh, it will be something more to do of leaving a, a legacy, yeah. okay. especially for my for my kids. Yeah. So yeah, if 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 I'm ever to come up with a name, it will be mainly influenced for my for my kids. Because yeah. I, I think I've reached that kind of age where 
right now there's there's not much that I'm doing for my for my for myself. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, okay, uh, I would have wanted my life to have been better since I was born, mm-hmm. but I'm here. I find myself where I am. So, yeah. uh, so where I am right now, it's all about making the people around me comfortable. Because me, I'm sort of mm-hmm. comfortable already in my uncomf- uncomfortability. So for me, it's all about is my are my parents set? Mm-hmm. Am I is my wife okay? Are my sisters doing fine? My kids are my kids lacking? Um, I always ensure they and they and they will never lack. Mm-hmm. As as long as I'm alive, they will never lack. So for me, everything I'm doing now it's for the people close to me because I've personally I've been helped a lot you know mm-hmm. yeah. I've uh I, I stand on the shoulders of 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 many people from my sporting career you know I was mentored with Humphrey Kayange uh, the legend mm-hmm. uh, the legend you know coming to to Nairobi like Jimani showed me around how to survive in, in Nairobi mm, wow. shout out to <laughs> Yeah, like even through my struggles with uh, mental health, you know, lots of people have been supporting me, like Jimani, Okeo, Alfie, a, a lot of people. And for me, people people never gave up, never gave up on me. People never gave up on me. And and, and looking back, I'm like, I, I really, I really stretched them. I really stretched them. So uh, for me now, it's, I think I'm 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 done. I'm done with myself. Done. Now it's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it's it's all it's it's all about uh, leaving a legacy. It's all about helping those close to me. And once the ones close to me are comfortable, I want to help more and more people. It's mm. it, it's 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 all about creating you no know, impact to 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 society. Because mm. as a person, I really don't need I don't need much. You know, I'm 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 a simple person, mm. but I derive joy in seeing other people happy. Okay. As an Olympian, your wife is also an Olympian. <laughs> so the physical activities you both do. <laughs> you're I'm not Olymp- Olympic level. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you're dumb. Miss Jolie's. <laughs> <laughs> And and who? So <laughs> no. Not everyone goes to the Olympics, huh? <laughs> and who finishes? Yeah, like uh, <laughs> nah, 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 who, actually, who I should I, I should I should brag more about you know being an Olympian. Yeah, yeah you should. You should. I had a meaning of So you have Come it. Huh? You have the medal. No, we are given that uh, ka, ka, oh. ka. Yeah, it's actually like um, a silver thing. Mm. It, it puts put like in a casket. Or the, the, you know, okay. These things. Mm. Yeah, so actually yeah. like most rooms, you mm. know, I usually go in and come to think of it, mm. 99% of the time you'll be the only Olympian in that room. That's yeah. true. Do you know, <laughs> I remember very, very well the video of that try that got mm. us to the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Where you picked the ball, I don't know how many yards far. Bro, just sheer power and pace. Imagine. Mm. What is the thing when you shield someone hand off. with your hand? Hand off. There's a black with the first one. It looked personal. No, I feel like that guy is in the opportunity. And that try got us to the Olympics, bro. Yeah. Imagine. Oh, yeah. those, those are the good, good old days. Yeah. You know, I come to think of it. Yeah. You know, the... When you're still doing it, when I when I was when I when I did it then mm-hmm. it was I was doing my job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now, like when I'm retired, and then you look back and then you're like, we actually achieved something. Yeah. You did achieve. Yeah, bro. we were. You still were so at the people. World Cup in Russia. Yeah. yeah. Was in is World that Cup, where you met her? Commonwealth <laughs> Games. Yeah. Is that where you met her? No, no, no. Oh, okay. no. How I met her is a. Uh, it's a different, it's a whole different story. Okay. Okay. You know, you did well, man, in sports. Yeah. Like for real. True. Yeah, sports, sports, uh, sports. Yeah, I actually quite. Actually, the reason why I sort of kind of walked away from it is, yeah. um, I think I had, I had I'd played all I wanted to play. Like when mm. when I joined the sports, I was like, oh wow, the World Cup. Oh wow, the Commonwealth Games. And then there was Olympics. the Olympics was yeah. introduced. We were the first ones now to play in the Olympics from mm. Kenya. Mm. So when you look back and then uh, you're like, okay, why do I keep chasing this thing? And then you look at 
how sports or rugby, how is it uh, in Kenya? And then you're like, the financial rewards, you know, mm-hmm. they really don't match because it, it reaches a point when, when, you, when you are young, you know, when you're chasing these milestones, they're exciting even more than they pay you. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I play for free to play in the Olympics. I'd mm. play for free to make it to the team to the World Cup. I'd mm. play for free to make it to the team to the Commonwealth. Mm. I'd play for free just to be on that first team and, and on that plane because mm. it's through rugby that I, it was my first time Kupanda and Dege. So, but after you kind of hit the, all those milestones and then you're sort of an adult and then the kids come and then now just now start weighing, you know, the f- financial, you know, the mm. financials are like, okay, the sport is not paying me enough. Mm, it's yeah, not taking out, that, that taking I, care of Yeah, you. that I, I can sustain myself and yeah. a family. It, it used to sustain me as a bachelor mm. with my sisters, my parents here and there. But now with a family, with kids now going to school, these kids yeah. are expensive. Mm, yeah. uh, One of them the TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's, uh, it's worth walking away from it and yeah. try... Something, something, else. Something, something, else. something else. Look at how rewarding that yeah, that decision was, bro. Yeah, it's um, it's it's it, it's it's been a it's been a journey. It's still mm. still it's going, yeah, but, still going, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but it's been an interesting journey. Mm. Well, Genuinely, yeah, Mimi, I've tried. Um, I enjoy sevens a lot. I think because it's fewer people, mm. shorter. You see a lot of action. Mm. Oh, Fifteen yeah, is missy, Levi. Munangu kapa, you pick the ball, you fall the next time. <laughs> for eighty minutes. Yeah, for eighty minutes. I'm like, why? What do you enjoy more? Because you played fifteens mm. and you played sevens, sevens but more too. advanced in sevens. No, I, th- I think I, um, I, I I'm a bit biased because I personally, I, I, I enjoy sevens. I think it's, it's, it's just how my brain works mm. as well. Like. Yeah. Being in the field for 80 minutes, it's 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 long, but 15 at the end of the day is the real is the real yeah, version yeah. Of, of the game, you know. Me and if you let a 15 as a survivor, there's not much. <laughs> no, but it's still a tum buya wem se moja po. No, what was tough. the idea line when in build? Muna pe abol. But I think se- seven yeah. sevens are uh, it's 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 physically demanding. demanding I, I think 15 yeah. you can you can afford to. Slack switch off now. for two minutes. Yeah, seven, and then fight. switch back. Seven switch off for one second. The game, the game is gone. I think that's why yeah. I love sevens more because of the action. Mm. Like it's yeah, very it's, action it's, it's more of the action, yeah. and then it's it's fifteen is a it's a bit more technical, and yeah, sevens it's it's technical. Um, Physical, athletic, are the same. It's it's just it's a lot. It's controlled chaos. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 a beautiful it's a beautiful game. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been sin binned? Sin binned. What's that? Like given a red card. Oh. Uh, no, I actually was was quite a um, a clean player. <laughs> okay. Come to think of it, I've never had a yellow card in my life. Oh wow! wow. Even one? Not even yeah, one. I thought yellow cards and red cards are, is normal. Faint no, 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 no. I've I've never <laughs> had even one. No, actually, there is one. I only had one. I was a rookie, and but it was not from for foul play. I mm-hmm. uh, the, the, uh, someone was passing the ball. The scrummer was uh, picking up the ball, mm-hmm. and then I tapped their oh, the their hand. hand. It was illegal, but it, uh, it was also ignorance. Mm-hmm. I I didn't know it was illegal, so mm-hmm. I was arguing with the ref. And then when we went back to the technical room, the coach was like, "Oh, this is wrong." And I was like, "Okay, my bad." Mm-hmm. That, that was my only yellow card. Wow. What team were you supporting in the finals that just ended? The team I was supporting. Yeah. Why? Three of my teams lost along the way. So. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, France and England are part of those. France, uh-huh. Ireland. We're starting with Ireland. Yeah. France, um, Fiji. Fiji, those the, that was my first team. And then they, were, they lost Ireland, uh, uh, France along the way. Yeah. So in, uh, in but in the in the final, I think I was supporting uh, New Zealand just because a lot of my friends were supporting the Springboks. And then I was like, I also want them to feel this pain I've been feeling <laughs> all through this month. You know, yeah. deep, as an African, I was like, if South, if South, Africa, South Africa wins, it's good for, for Africa, good for rugby. Mm. But as a person of vendetta, I wanted them to lose so that my friends can also feel the pain. Yeah. I fell through the World Cup, but then I ended up suffering Feeling even more. Yeah, thrice the pain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, because Saddam watches this show, what do you want to tell Saddam? Oh, God. <laughs> Chance to speak to Mr. Saddam. Saddam. <laughs> yeah. You are here to be an idiot.
Yo. Oh my god. Cuz cuz yeah to come up at a connect your company. Yeah, nakwambia mambo na nakam next week. We have a list of everyone. Speak your soul. No, Saddam Saddam is a is a good friend of mine. Uh soft in person. Kichwa ngumu Twitter. Softy, I'm in jinga to in person. Okay, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Ni mujinga tu na na text zake za ufala. But he's a he's a good person about I think people if you judge someone by their tweets uh, I think <laughs> yeah. Saddam utauma <laughs> miss. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. He's, man. he's such a nice guy ni ile tu uh, he tweets from there. Ufala the takes ass. over a lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> tweets from there. He tweets from there. <laughs> anafungwa hapa na ikalia that's wild <laughs> that's wild that's <laughs> wild ali sema express way fungo iko ya mercedes peke i mean i'll put the live recording here to i mean yeah the co president express way ngeko tu ya mercedes peke yeah i agree ah man listen to saddam he but i told saddam see as you know mwana ume you and the gym na gloves Mimi na fa kwenda aje. Tikule chuma hiyo. Chuma inavaa uinue na mkono. Tell him. Tell him. Una van gloves kwa gym. Ai ai ai. No. Sina why in a hand of the fire. Kuna progress. Guys, mke kwa kuva nini atunge kwa Olympic. Unajiri ati una van gloves. First of all unaenda gym. Mimi nilianza. Nimeanza 2 months now. Oh no wonder you. I'm not some una game. No one is it's not showing. It's, it's not giving. <laughs> Good no, so, Speaking of gym actually mm-hmm. uh, next year I also want to start now going to the gym because um like it's been four years you mm. know since i kind of um, retired mm. you've not been actively working out. I've not worked out. It's been four almost four years of not stepping in the gym. Mm. Yeah, so niliona a video of you saying you haven't worked out in a long time. Na bado ukaenda ukauua tu. Cuz you know like fair. Na alikuwa na muscle memory. You know those gyms for no, dance for rugby. It's, it's, muscle memory. It's, it's muscle memory. It's muscle memory, bro. He used, to, he used to work out every day. We used to work yeah. out every practice, day for, every day. for almost 15 yeah, years like of my life. Imagine. Waking up every uh, day at 5:30, you know, you mm. work out till noon. Sometimes you also go back in the evening. And then over the weekends you could do your own extra sessions. Na kazi bado ni work out. Do right yeah, 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 again yeah. still. So I think right now um, uh, my body is sort of still running on the reserve fuel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I find it difficult to to work out and sometimes even my wife you know like it was like yo you the professional sports mania cuz how she works out almost every day. Yeah. For me I was like I find it hard to take myself out to the gym without a goal without mm. knowing that I'm, I'm not working with a goal in mind. Ah. Now I'm just working for myself. Yeah. So I'll just, most of the time, I'm like, okay, I need to work out. And then we go out with uh, with uh, a few friends here. And then they're like, ah, you kind of look fit. You're working out. I'm like, yeah. actually, I'm not working out. And people still think I'm working out. Yeah. I think I still have another That's year. Yeah. <laughs> then good shit. Yeah, so I always yeah. just keep, look at the mirror. And then I'm like, oh, it's fine. But mm. deep inside, deep no. inside, I feel... Yeah. I feel fat. Yeah. But I'm not an Andani. I'm not an Andani. You identify as a fat person. I I identify as a fat person. But I think it, it's it's it I think it's also because of 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 my childhood, you know? Uh you worked your whole life. Yeah, as in eh kuna ile kuna ile mwili ya shida ile achana hii mwas. You will be a mwas I grew up in a really yeah, tough yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> some of us I think by Kuangalia mwili wangu, ile shida. Ombachi mwili shida. Mwas, mwili blue band. Some of us by age 6 will go shaanza kutoa abs because ya I'm not joking. My six up with you. Six with a six pack. Kuli kwa na those this thing I used to hate after we after we have the the maize or beans or ama wimbi the sorghum. And now our work now is just after they dry now we put them inside a sack and then now it's just heating working yeah working working. Me I was not going to the gym but 
primary school, uh, class six, up, uh, uh, rocking a solid six pack. Damn. Hi. I want fitness, the you mulia say ni mulia ya watcha mulia shida. See ni ya kuwak out. Okay, we have gloves. Oh, na waka una gloves. Ow. <laughs> Ma, Thomas, you've been such a nice spot, bro. Thank Thank you. You. I'm, I'm really glad we finally did this. Yeah, you to episode. No, we didn't talk on Yumba Ningomo. 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 No, but we appreciate you, man. We celebrate you. You did really well in sports. Yeah. Now you're killing it now, bro. To mm. Nangoja, that chain of restaurants. Yeah, it will come with time, but, yeah, uh, but sure. I, right now it's just. Trusting the process, yes. mm-hmm. yeah. I'm still, I'm still learning. I still have a lot to learn. For sure. So f- for me, it's it's, it's all about um, self Im- improvement. Because mm-hmm. the same as when I was still playing sports, yeah. I was somehow good at it, but I also never just wanted to be known as a yeah. as a sportsman. Sports the same thing now as in what what I'm doing. Um, I'm sort of. Maybe depending on whoever you says it, maybe I'm good at it, maybe I'm not. Yeah. But I also, at the end of the day, just don't want to be known as another content, content creator, creator, another yeah. influencer. Because I believe um, everyone has a as a bigger as a bigger purpose, mm. as a, a bigger um, calling. vision, calling in life. <clears throat> so for me, <clears throat> like for these, like the audience I have, for me, I, I believe it's 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 more like a ladder, stepping stone to to something new, something mm-hmm. amazing. Because at the end of the day, for me, as, as I said earlier, it's, it, it's, it's all about creating, creating impact, the, the impact you create in, mm-hmm. in society. Mm-hmm. It, it, for me, at the end of the day, it's not about <clears throat> the views you get. Like, uh, you, you, give me, you give me 10 million views, I'll be happy. It's, it's, good, for, it's good for work. Mm-hmm. It's good for the client. The client will be happy. For the red card. <laughs> yeah, it's good yeah. for the red card. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... For me, as a person, that's 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 not my my value. For me, uh, it's 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 the people you impact along 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 the way. Yeah. Um, that's why you know, as 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 much as I I enjoy working with brands, I love I love working with brands. You know, they they pay the bills. You know, um, and we it's it's a mutually beneficial uh, sort of kind of. <laughs> relationship but uh, i believe in the in 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 our field of uh, we call ourselves influencers there are, there are a lot of stuff we can do um, in the in the society especially speaking as a former sportsman because in my in my mind i've been a sportsman and i've been an influencer and trust me i still believe that sportsmen and, and entertainers are the biggest influencers in in life for sure yeah cuz as a sportsman or as an entertainer you come you already come with a with a story yeah. mm. um it's 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 easier to sell yourself yourself your story is, is already believable cuz people have already seen what you're doing or they are seeing what what you're doing so yeah there's a lot of things like i i, I want to do that uh, apart from these the people that look at me and just see me as another creator because there are a lot of things I'm passionate about, uh, especially kids, um, uh, street kids, uh, or I'll call them <clears throat> people who are homeless. I'm uh, very passionate uh, to towards them. Uh, stories to do with <clears throat> mental health, it's something that's also mm. close, in close my, to, uh... to my heart. Uh, so yeah, so for me, it's uh, it's it's all about creating impact, and I I believe we'll be able to to get there. Like it's all about using your your platform to yeah. represent your people, represent your society in, in good light, and yeah, that's that's where I'm, I think I'm I'm kind of headed, um, mm-hmm. especially right right now. As <clears throat> apart from just partnering with uh, with brands, um, uh, we are sort of. Um, transitioning a lot more into working with uh, different embassies and and, uh, and consulates because mm-hmm. um, as I said from sports basically as a sportsman you're a brand ambassador you're representing your country you're representing your people and so for me I was like why can't I do it also as an influencer as a food influencer yeah because mm-hmm. if there's also one thing that brings everyone 
together, together is, is, food. Food, yeah. is, is food. So yeah. there's a lot of cultural exchanges, um, ideas uh, to do in, in the line of food diplomacy. Mm. And I think that's what I want to <clears throat> sort of focus again now mm. in the short time because I don't know what I'll be doing again in the end or at the end of, of next year. Like that's how my brain just just work. So right now I really want to represent my people which which is Kenya um, in good light and showcase a lot of what we have as well as show them a lot of what is out there. Because I've traveled a lot. I, that's why even in, in my cooking as much as some people will say, okay, it's expensive. Mm. But I also try, always try and find a balance. I'll show you okay, this is what is there. Something maybe you've never seen. Uh, and then uh, before you digest it, I'll bring you back home, Kidogo, yeah. Mara, Matumbo, up with you. <laughs> as you get comfortable, I take you uh, somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, so it's all about trying to expose people and represent our culture outside there. As in, there's a, there's a lot as as influencers you can do out here apart from just chasing clicks. Yeah. Everyone should should focus on what you are doing positively, you know, to change the society. Mm. Everyone should copy my check. Nah. Thank you, bro. <coughs> Appreciate you, man. Mm. Thank you so much for making time on a Friday evening. Yeah. Imagine. You know, Easy. come just hang out with us for, I don't know how many hours, bro. You were here at 7, like 40. Yeah. 10, almost 11. Yeah. Man, we appreciate you, we celebrate you. Congratulations on all the success, man. Thank you. Thank Episode you. 115 on Bachi Wuya Macho! Over 26. This is the Bag of This is the Brunch Club. Over 26. Welcome back to the Bag of Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>